Okay, today's lesson is on 3.3, uh, the rational numbers. Again, this is a review, and what is most important is that each of you know how to use your calculator to help you get the right answer. So I am going to go quickly over the rules, but try to give you some tips on using your calculator. Um, this is very individual because everybody has different calculators, so if you need some help, I really need you to come see me. But first of all, you do need to know what the set of rational numbers are. They consist of all the numbers that can be expressed as a quotient of two integers where the denominator is not zero. That quotient often in books is written like that, a over b. So it includes numbers like one half. Uh, it could be one third. It could be a decimal that terminates because that can be written as a fraction. It could be a decimal that repeats. Okay, so let's use our calculator. The first thing you're going to do is to reduce it to its lowest terms. Okay, when you do that on your calculator, you're going to use the fraction bar on your calculator when you type it in, and then you're going to press the equal button, and it should give you an answer of two fifths. 16 over 64 so that you can do this while you're practicing and know what the correct answer is, is one-fourth, okay? If we have to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, if you remember, okay, this one, this is where we multiply nine times two and we add the seven to it. So it's nine times two plus seven. The denominator stays the same. So that's 18 plus seven, which is 25 over 9. Now, this one, you can again, you got to use your fraction bar and the equal sign, but actually oftentimes when you use the fraction bar, you're going to have to use it twice. Again, you, it depends on the calculator, so you need to make sure that you know how to do that. Okay? The next one, converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. If you will here, you want to use the division symbol, the divided by key. So on this one would be 47 divided by 8. And when you push that and push equals, a lot of times your calculator will give you that answer as 5 and 7 eighths. Okay? So negative uh, 59 over 9 would be negative 6 and 5 ninths because 9 goes into 59 six times with 5 left over. 788 over 25 is going to be 31 and 13 25ths. So why am I giving you the examples? Because you want to use your calculator now to make sure you know how to do these correctly before you get started on your classwork. Okay? Expressing a each rational number as a decimal. So in these particular problems, when you put that in the calculator, one of the things that you want to remember is that you want to read your fraction from top to bottom, just like you would read a page of a book. Okay, so you're going to use the division key, 3 divided by 5, and the equals button. 3 divided by 5 is 0.6. 3 divided by 20 is 0.15. 5 divided by 16, okay, a longer one, okay, 3, 1, 2, 5, do not round that when you're going from a rational to a decimal. 3 elevenths, I wanted you to see that one because this one is a repeating decimal. And a repeating, you figure out what part of it repeats and you write that part and put a bar over it. That's what the repeat means. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and on the last part of this page, if you want to go from the decimal to the rational number, you want to read the decimal. Uh, you can put it in your calculator. Again, put it in and push equals. Uh, a lot of times the calculator will give it out to you, but that is nine tenths. Okay, so you just enter it as a decimal and then put. Uh, push the equal sign. Point 0.6 is 6 tenths, and your calculator should give it to you back as 3 fifths because that is reduced. Okay, point 0.59 is 59 hundredths. 
Okay, so to continue on, we have some operations. The first one we're going to talk about is multiplying. And when you multiply, uh, I'm going to change colors here. When we multiply, remember that you multiply straight across. And sometimes it's just as easy to multiply, if you can do that, than it is to put it in the calculator. Nothing simplifies, so this is just going to be 15 over 88. But if that's not easy for you, you can put that in your calculator just like it looks, and it should give you that answer. Okay? Negative 1 8 times 5 9 negative 5 over 72. Same rules apply with our negative signs that we had with integers. And this one, if you see it, there's a common 2. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 negatives give me a positive. So when you put it in your calculator, you should get an answer of 15 over 14. So that's multiplying. To divide. Okay. Uh, a lot of people like to remember KCF, which means you keep the first one. Keep the first fraction that you have. Let's go with 5 eighths. Then you change the operation. So instead of dividing, we're multiplying. And then you flip the second one. So that becomes 3 fourths. This is because we to divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So we keep, change, flip. Nothing cancels out. So that gives us an answer of 15. That doesn't look like a 15. Let's go with 15 over 32. Again, practice with your calculator and make sure you get that. Okay, this would be, uh, I'll go ahead and put the answer so we can move on. That's going to be negative 13 over 16. Practice with your calculator. Um, the Most calculators will have um, a mixed number key on them. One of the things that you have to do if you're doing it by hand is that you have to change mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, so don't try to do it by hand unless you remember to do that. The answer here for you to check with your calculator is two-thirds. Okay, adding, adding and subtracting. Okay, if my denominators are the same, okay, then I'm going to Add the top and keep the bottom. Remember the top is called our numerator and our bottom down on the bottom is our denominator. So 5 thirteenths plus 2 thirteenths it should be easier for you to do that by hand instead of with a calculator that's 7 thirteenths. 7 twelfths minus 5 twelfths is 2 twelfths, which reduces to 1 sixth. So you could go ahead and subtract it, but put it in your calculator to make sure it's reduced. Okay? If they don't have the same denominator, okay, must have common or same denominator. So that bottom number has to be the same. If the bottom number is not the same, Go ahead and put it in your calculator. This is going to give you 8 fifteenths. This one is going to give you, seriously not the same number, it is 8 fifteenths. Okay? Okay, this one with especially the big numbers, I know I'm going to put that in my calculator and you're going to get 193 over 432. So again, make sure you're getting these numbers so that if you're getting something incorrect, you can come see me and I can make sure you know how to use it. Okay, the last two problems that I want to do, um, I encourage you to kind of do it both ways, but this will be those kinds where you want to get the partial credit if you have the time. Um, you can put it into your calculator in one fell swoop, or you can use your calculator to um, put parts of the problem into the calculator to help, and that helps you show your work. So you don't really have to do all of it by hand, 
So if I put just this part, because I'm just taking a fraction minus a fraction, then I put that in there and I'm going to get negative 6 over 35. When I put this into my calculator, I'm going to get negative 35 over 72. And if you can see that, you can do it. If not, put it in your calculator and you will find out that your answer is 112. But that's an example of showing your work so that you can get partial credit. Um, or make sure you get the same answer both ways. All right, last problem. Again, I have 3 fourths minus 4 times 9, which uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yikes. Uh, that's 9. 4 times 9 is 36 divided by negative 1 half and neg times negative 1 6. Be careful. Don't do that because this is all multiplication and division. That means that this goes in order from left to right. So 3 fourths minus 36 divided, I'd put that in your calculator all in one fell swoop, and that's going to be 3 fourths minus 12, which is going to give you negative 11 and 1 fourth. So can't encourage you enough. Please make sure you test out your calculator and make sure you know how to do everything. If not, come see me. Thanks.